Hello everyone, and welcome to my first uh, Fortnite Save the World video. Now, um, today's video, we're going to start off by reviewing some of the items that come out of the Pirate Llamas, um, which are in the shop right now. Those items are uh, the Duelist, Dragoon, Old Betsy, uh, Bundle Bus, Spyglass, Bowler, Sir Hoodie, Sir Fishing Hook, Walloper, uh, <laughs> Corsair, uh, Jack's Revenge, and the Power Peg. Now, um, I'm not going to review all of these, and in this video, I am going to be reviewing the Old Betsy, this item right here. Now, the Old Betsy is a very powerful sniper rifle. Even though it's very powerful, it lacks with uh, its reload. Its reload speed is very slow, and it only shoots one bullet at a time. So the perks I put on mine is all blue rolls, uh, reload speed, reload speed. I just put nature on this because I don't uh, use any other nature snipers. Uh, crit damage and crit rating. But, um, I don't think these last two are the best, since the crit rating only gives me a 36.5% crit rating. Uh, I've seen people doing double headshot damage here. Uh, you could probably do double damage if you wanted to. But, you're definitely going to want at least one reload, because even with these two, the reload still takes 1.2 seconds. Now, the hero loadout that I'm going to be using for this sniper is Rabbit Raider Jonesy in the commander. Uh, he has increased sniper crit damage by 225%. Um, then for my team perk, I'm going to do preemptive strike. <laughs> increased damage by 6.5% against full health enemies. And then quick scope increases sniper damage by 17%. Icy shot. Uh, sniper critical hits apply water affliction dealing 21 base water damage per second for 3 seconds. Uh, locked and reloaded after reloading increases weapon damage by 15% for 5 seconds. Um, survivalist, so I'll heal uh, 39 base health over 3 seconds after an, after an elimination. Reload with an empty magazine regenerates 13.5% of shield. Now I have these two reload ones since this is only a one-shot weapon. Although if you have energy on this, you could probably replace probably in a pinch with uh where is he using a plasma arc? So that would be a good layout for that. So let's jump right into a mission and see how good this is. Okay, since this is uh, only blue rolls, I think I'm going to jump into a 24 power level mission uh, just to show you guys it on a smasher. Because this is the sort of weapon you'd be using on Miss Monsters and Smashers since it does so much damage and has such a long reload time. Okay, so now that we're in a mission, all I gotta do is find a smasher or Miss Monster. Uh, I like to use this gun for my Mist Monsters and Smashers. Uh, then something else uh, for all the smaller targets. Like I have the Blastatron 9000, which I really like this gun. It shoots pretty fast, does a lot of damage. I'll probably do a review on it sometime. Um, or you could also pair it up with the Boombo which is also a sniper, and I'll do a review on those weapons uh, some other time. Okay, looks like we found the mist monster. Now I'm just gonna kill these ones down here. And this is me in a mission by myself, so I don't get any damage boosts. Oh, where did that smash go there? Or a mist monster. There it is, okay. Took a pretty good chunk out of there. The hell. Whoa. Just finished it off from that much health. I think it didn't crit before, that's why. Oh, this too. Okay. 
pretty good, pretty good chunk. Ooh, I don't think that was a crit. And I missed. Okay, so that... How many hits was that? Three? Of course I get knocked. Okay. Dude, that was a crit and that did a lot of damage. I'd recommend if you're going to use this build to use it in a um, mission with other players. Because solo missions, you get destroyed. There's one more miss monster down there. I'm going to do one more test on him, then we'll jump into a real mission with other people. Okay, now we got the other ones. He has a little bit of health taken off already. Dang, I almost one-shot him. I feel like if I uh, would god roll this, then that would have one-shot him. Okay, now let's jump into a real mission with other players. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this gun. I think this gun is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you get one out of the llama, you should definitely upgrade it. Although it's not something I would use in my main inventory slot, it would be something just for like mist monsters and smashers and high health enemies. I would also keep it to physical if I was going to be fighting mist monsters with it instead of changing it to nature like I did. And that's it, that's all I have to say on this weapon. Uh, you should definitely pick it up. Um, I'm going to be making a video about the Bundle Bust and the Jack's Revenge later covering the good weapons in the Pirate Llamas. That's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something from this. I'm just going to let some gameplay uh, play in the, in the background without voiceover for uh, a bit so you can just watch me play with this sniper and um, the other snipers that I use. See you guys. Peace out.